show you. Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace. And I want to show you, I finished the poncho. I made it rounded. I didn't want, I didn't want the, the V to go V, V on the bottom, so I rounded the bottom. And so Jane, this, this had taken quite a few skeins, so yours is gonna to have to take even more because you're taller than me. But this is what it looks like. How many skeins is it? Well, it's almost, almost six skeins. Thank you very much. This is me. Ta-da! Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace again. And um, I was telling Jane that she's going to have to probably use more yarn than what I used. I used almost six skeins. I have this much left over. Just that much. I decided to put like a single crochet along the bottom because they put a single crochet along the top part and I thought well I will put one on the bottom and so I stopped before I ran out and it took about 1,181 yards of this yarn so for it was, you for me it did so maybe for you it might take more if you're taller I'm only five feet and I wanted it to just go to my the crook of my arm where my elbow is and it took me um, six skeins, just about. Okay, and I also have a message for, for, for um, not Brian. Brian was on my mind. Brian, you're on my mind. Hi. Um, <laughs> no, it was Blue Bike and, oh, here, you can have those, yes. It was Blue Bike and Doyle. He was singing a song. He says, pull on Superman's cape. You don't pull on Superman's cape. You don't spit in the wind. You don't pull the mask off the long, own, long, 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 wait a minute, long, wait a minute, you don't pull the mask off the long, long, <laughs> oh gosh, well anyways, and you don't mess around with Jim, and Jim says, yeah, you don't mess around with him, long ranger, long, mm -hmm. a lone, long ranger, Lone Long Ranger, no, maybe, or something, Lone you know. Ranger. Lone Ranger, Long, I don't know. Tongue Twister there. <laughs> and I've been watching a lot of videos that they're talking about your goals for next year. I don't have any goals. My goals are to continue as I'm continuing. Um, I don't have anything. I get up and I feed the animals and take care of the whatever needs to be taken care of, take care of my comments. That's my that I consider my job. I get up and I I make a point to go right after I get ready for the day. I go to my work and my work is my comments, which gives me a reason to keep going to go to do. This is all mixed up. <laughs> all my stars. Oh well, let's put that video in instead of what I have. I had a um. Uh, we'll go to that in a minute got to tell you, i got to give you the little lead-in. Um, Gloria had said that she wanted to see some of the eggs that I had cooked yesterday. If you didn't see the video with the eggs, how to cook fresh eggs, I would check that out. It was just yesterday that I did it. I don't know. I could probably put the link in so you can find it quickly. And um, so she wanted to see the inside of the eggs. So today I'm going to show you how I make deviled eggs. And so that's what we're going to be looking at. I forgot what I was going to title this one. I usually try to say the title when I'm doing this, whatever. I don't, I don't remember either. Said. But anyways, it's about my deviled eggs. It's a quick and easy way to make them. And simple. Anybody can do it. You could do it. We all can do it. The kids can do it. Anybody can do it. So let's go to that video. Now I will show you how I make my deviled eggs. This was a cheese, it still is a cheese cutter, but I use it for my deviled eggs. I take the, the roller thing out, and so you just have this wire. Oh, there's a shell on me. So you just have this wire. And what I do is I take the egg and just slide it through, just like that. And the yolk is pretty much in the middle. Then I take the yolks and I just dump them out into a bowl. You 
even the ones that had the little bit of whatever on it that didn't peel real good, I still use them. If, like this one broke, I could chop it up in there if I want. There, So you can, like if the, and if you get one of these, these are, these are um, protein spots. You can take them out if you like. I usually take them out. It's a little protein spot. They're not going to hurt you, but I take them out. You'll find those in fresh, in um, farm fresh eggs. Okay, after you get your egg whites all on the dish, then you take a fork or whatever tool you like to use and you start mashing. When you get them to where you like them or around there, you start salting. You salt it a little bit. I don't know how much salt I put in. I put just a bunch of shakes. And then I stir it up. If it's not salty enough, they'll add more to their own. Then I add mayonnaise. Now you could make your own mayonnaise, or you can be lazy like me and just take it out of the jar, which I'm gonna take it. And I don't measure that either, I just guess. It's all, it's a guessing game. I don't even know how many yolks I have here. Probably almost a dozen. Um, I don't know. I don't even know how many eggs I cooked. And stir this in. Now, you could have put mustard in here if you want. You could put onion powder, you can put relish, you can do whatever you like with your eggs. I like to keep mine plain because I just like them plain. Jim adds mustard to his. Sometimes. And because they're so already really bright colored, people think I put mustard in. Then I just take it and I glob it into the egg, the whites of the egg. I hear Mr. He's up on the railing. I have to go give Mr. Brown his, or not Mr. Brown, but pretty boy. I heard us flapping wings. He's up on the railing. He needs a treat. Eyes are coming. Hold on. Can you hear him crowing? I can. Hopefully they can. I don't know. I'll just hurry it up. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Faster, faster, faster. I'm coming. A few more. I better go. And then what I do is I go back and I put a little more in each of the eggs that are lacking. I gotta go take care of Mr. Brown. Or not Mr. Brown. I keep saying Mr. Brown. I mean pretty boy. Pretty boy and his girls.
give you a little more. Give you a little more. Give this one some more. Give that one some more. I've noticed a lot of people don't use spatulas. I know, I do. We always do. It's like the cooking shows. They leave tons in the bowl. There's nothing in my bowl. My kids would say, can I lick it? And then I have to leave some in if they want to lick it. But if they're not going to lick it, I don't leave any in. Try to take it all out. There we go. Well, that's the video for today. I guess I'm a little bit of tongue-tied or tongue-twisted. My tongue has been twisting all over the place. And I hope you had a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. It's the last day of the year tomorrow, so I'll see you then. Bye.